In this video, I'm going to explain how to set up port forwarding on a Hike Vision MVR. This will allow the user to gain remote access to the MVR from the internet or mobile device. In this example, we're going to use the web client of the MVR, log in with the admin account and password, go to configuration, under network settings, go to port, and in here you're going to configure three ports, the HTTP port, the RTSP port, and the SDK port. The HTTP port is for the web client use. The RTSP port is for the real-time streaming port to view live view on your mobile device. And the SDK port is to allow control of the server. First, by default, we're going to set the HTTP port to be 80. RTSP port to be 10554 and the SDK port to be 8000. Since it's already set, I'm just going to log out. Open up your web browser and log into your router. In this case, I have a Motorola Advanced Modem by Shaw. You will need the admin username and password off the modem in order to get access to the configuration. Once you have this, go ahead and log in. In this Motorola Advanced Modem, the Port Forwarding section is under the Advanced tab. In here, select Port Forwarding. Add. Once you're in the Advanced Port Forwarding page, click the Create IPv4 button. In here, you'll see entries for an external IP address and local internal IP address as well as the ports that need to be forwarded. In this case, we're just going to leave the external IP address to be zero, which will allow any packets from any device to gain access to this MVR. We're going to use port 80 as the first entry, and usually it starts with an, and ends with a port number, and in our case we're just going to have 80 to 80. And for the internal port, we're going to also use port 80 and 80. For the internal local IP address, this is where you enter the IP address of the MVR. Add a description. Select the protocol, TCP, UDP, or both. We're going to go ahead and select both and then enable and then click apply. Once we have this, we're going to go ahead and create the other two port forwarding rules for port RTSP as well as server. We're going to walk through the same step except we're going to use the new port numbers in these rules. So again, I'm going to just use the 10554 as a starting and end port for both the external and internal IP addresses. Then enter the local IP address of the MVR. Type in the description. Select both under protocol and then enable. And then lastly, we're going to add the last port, which is port 8000 for the server. Again, I'm going to enter the local IP address of the MVR and then name it. and click apply. Once these port forwarding rules have been set, you can go ahead and log out. Once you've created the port forwarding rules, you can simply use a open port check tool such as canyouseeme.org. Simply open a web browser and type in www.canyouseeme.org and in here it will display your external IP address 
and an input box for you to type in the port that you want to check. So let's check port 80 first. Click the check button. As you can see, we have success. The service to this external IP address for port 80 is working. It is not blocked. Next, check in port 8000 for SDK port. Click check port. And again, port 8000 is not blocked. And lastly, check for the RTSP port, which is 10554. Click the check port button. And this is also not blocked. Once you have checked to make sure the three ports are open, then you will have remote access to your system from the internet or your mobile device.